Cole, why, why is thing? <laughs> Cole, why is it floppy, bro? Nah. With this channel, experience new things many don't even imagine is happening. That is not a room. That's an edge. That's a ledge. <laughs> you know we can go up there. Get low, Cole. Don't fall mm. on your foot. I've never seen oh anything like this in my life. Welcome to Gravity Cancel. Link down below. Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix and today I've got you the 10 best Brahalla esports moments of all time. Let's get right into this with number 10. Number 10, Kozlix vs Boomy, Dreamac Austin 2018. I'll be honest, I'm a little biased at this one. I kind of had to put on the list, but basically I reverse three, or I didn't, I, I reverse JV3, I don't know. I had a huge comeback against Boomy and clutched it up in the next finals game five. And then I did a really stupid Super Mario dance at the end. And that was probably the hypest match of my career. This has all been Kostelix the entire match. Boomy needs to find some sort of attack. There's the side light. He gets the spear, double D-light. No, just into the stair. He just wants whatever he knows will work. Recovery comes up from Kostelix. This is looking so close. Now, even though Kostelix started this final stock way behind Boomy, he has dead evened it up right now. He oh, has the, the kill options. Sink. It's a gravity cancel side sink on the spear this time. It's not going to move him down oh, a little the bit. Sink. The down sink on the edge. Not going to have enough mustard behind he gets the it. The there for the follow-up. Kostelix popping off. He is going to take the set moving into grand finals right now at DreamHack Austin. A three to two and Kostelik showing that he didn't need to adopt that play. So that's how strong he is with Lance. Let's get rid of the, a little bit of bias and let's get right into number nine. Number nine, Daiku versus Effie 2017 BCX. So Daiku played against Effie on the loser's side of top 32 at BCX 2017. And what happened was pretty crazy. These two were teammates at the time and also long friends. They're two people that lobbed out Brahalla and really discovered some of the crazy true combos that you know today. Dyke is one of the original co-founders of the Russian Mafia. Effie is one of the most mechanically sound Brahalla players in the world and just did breakdowns before anyone else did. And these guys, they played in bracket and it was emotional heavy. It was close and you can see for yourself. Yeah, if he disengaged, goes in for the dash down so it doesn't end up hit. There's the nair from Daiku. Oh, oh, no, he throws he, out a side sink. He didn't get the instinct there or the jump recovery that would have killed Effie. Both of them. Oh, the down sick from Effie. Dancing around each other. Effie gonna be swapping on over to the scythe. Effie a little bit worse for wear now compared to Daiku. He is now midway into red. Daiku just at the beginning has taken maybe one or two hits. Oh, oh no, here is the strings. string. Effie about to bring him into orange. But he backs off, lets Daiku recompose himself. Daiku really trying to use these dash dancing to catch Effie with one of those bow starters. He's going for the sidelight a little too much and Effie recognizes the ground pound hits. Daiku, he is, is running out. He's done for. Effie has done it. Effie pops off. And he has taken down his 2v2 partner. Daiku is out of the tournament, but they're gonna hug it out. The pop off Bittersweet. at the end. Number eight, Boomy vs. Blood Diamond at Shine 2017. This was one of the most influential matches in Brawlhalla history. This was the last tournament before Dash was implemented in September 2017. And Boomy and Blood Diamond, they both knew the assignment. They understood that there was an issue, there was a disadvantage with aggressing. So both players stalled the match by just standing on the opposite sides of the stage. And it got to a point where Boomy tweeted mid set XD. It's the first time anyone's ever done this. Boomy, a very young guy at the time, I think he was 14 years old. It's pretty ballsy that this kid was pulling stuff like this off in the middle of a major tournament. See for yourself. If he if he takes the stock off, Boomy's just gonna play normal, and that's what Blood Diamond has been losing out in. It's it's a little too early. He has to wait a little bit longer, get more damage onto Boomy. But he oh, can't do and that. Boomy still ends up that. taking it out. It doesn't end up going to the end of the clock yet again. Boomy's Boomy still able to take it out in the end. X there is the tweet on D. your screen. You see from Stiffy, you're a god. I tell you what, production is a god for getting <laughs> that up that on the out. screen right now. How, look at those likes and retweets already. Boomy is a grime king. Like, this is the man. I can't, this, I didn't expect this. We've seen a lot of things from Boomy. This is not one of them that I would have expected. Number seven, Cody and Izadru versus Boomy and Sandstorm 
final round 2019. This was the first tournament that Boomy and Sandstorm were teaming together in person at the 2v2 LAN. This is the first time Boomy and Sandstorm were teaming together on LAN, and this was the grand finals of final round. And this set went to 10 games. Both the first and second half both were game fives. It was one of the craziest sets on LAN I've ever seen. And it was what a way to start the year of 2019. You can see for yourself. It's Drew. It's still alive somehow. Looking for the assist with the ground pound hits. Even the island can't Drew. save him. It's Drew's gone. Cody Travis could follow up, but no. The Sarah, he gets through the team combos. Sandstorm and Boomy definitely feeling the pressure here. They're not setting up as well as they used to. Oh, the ground pound what hits. a play! It's Drew going for the uh, down stick. Gets the recovery. No! d -like ground pound oh, coming up from oh, Boomy. They're, they're starting to get the 2v1s while Cody Travis was away. Cody's Sandstorm gone. Sandstorm going for the big finisher. The recovery I doesn't work out. Boomy gets oh, hit Boomy across the map, but Sandstorm gets it to Drew. Sandstorm trying to finish off this Drew. Cody Travis gave this to Oh my gosh, the recovery. And he got the finisher on Boomy. What a play by Instatrue. Is it going to be enough? There's still Cody a Cody Travis barely here. misses the stair. Both members of Team Flashpoint on the final stocks of this tournament. Stair goes on the sandstorm. Down to actually clips Boomy, and Boomy gets oh, hit by a stair to down air. The down stick comes out, and Boomy's getting hit by so Sandstorm much sandstorms off stage. Sandstorm might just get the finisher on Instatrue right now. But he gets Boomy the gets hit. He ends up hitting Boomy. Cody Travis, okay, there's a stair, but he goes to the side. Whoa, it's Drew is flying, but he's still living. Cody Travis, the recovery of Boomy, he goes so hot. What? Is Drew still alive? Weapon toss comes down the down air, pummels Is Drew, but he has a recovery. He dodges through. He manages to make it back, and Sandstorm doesn't go for the ground pound. Cody Travis and Oh, man. Who nearly oh, gets the, the finisher the right there. And there he goes. Is Drew's down. The down, down the done the KO. Boomy and Sandstorm have done it. Boomy. They've taken the tournament. Number six. Wrenched for Sandstorm Shine 2019. This set didn't have anything in particular until the very end where Wrenched beat Sandstorm. This eliminated Sandstorm's current land tournament win streak. I think it was his longest land win streak ever. And Wrenched was the first person to really beat Sandstorm. Really beat him. Like consistently too, because Wrenched went on to win the next tournament right after that. It was a crazy set. Both players played amazing, and you can see the end for yourself. Guitars in his hands. Down light. His entire career coming down to this one moment. Sandstorm one has stock. wrenched in the yellow. Every tick of damage puts more pressure onto Wrench's shoulders. He has to find the kill option. Dare is not it. Neutral air is not it. Tries to go in for the SIG. Look how far that neutral air sent. He has the sword. He's like one D-Light recovery away from total victory. Can he do it? Is this the one? Downlight oh, doesn't no. hit it! Sidelight's not a kill option! He was so close that you saw how far that sidelight sent him. He's so damaged. The recovery! Wrench has done it! He has defeated Sandstorm, breaking the streak. He is the Shine Champion! Now we're getting into the serious stuff. Top five, and at number five, we have Sandstorm vs. Wrench BCX 2018 Grand Finals. This was the first LAN event for Sandstorm ever. And this dude was on winner's side grand finals. And this set wasn't even that close. Like, I think everyone in the crowd knew Sandstorm would win just by looking at the gameplay. No offense to Wrench, I was cheering for him. But dude, Sandstorm was hype and like at the end, just puts his headset down. Just that confidence, I love it. Take a look. Space between him and Sandstorm, trying to maintain this lead. Two hits coming out. Ooh, a delayed recovery, yeah. trying to wait for that dodge. He wasn't quite in a position Just to hit it, though. Too far to the left there. Goes out the six. Second oh. one! You see Wrenched yeah. hesitated for just a second. Like, He's like, can I punish, can I punish no. this? And that slight hesitation gave Sandstorm the Cause, perfect opportunity. Because generally, you'll cover with a neutral light. So he yeah. backed up, saw that there wasn't going to be a neutral light. But Sandstorm was like, this stuff is already off cooldown. Going for it again. Sandstorm able to even up the stocks. He still is just a little bit behind. He has sight. There's the sidelight. He's going to wait for nice just a pound. second to go off stage before going for that ground pound. That turnaround ground pound on the edge that covers right below him and sort of a cone over along the wall as well. Dead even in stocks. Dead even the in damage. health right now. Oh, that oh. could be in trouble. He dips just down below the level of the stage. Wrench running out of movement. Barely avoids the side air. Not going to nice. kill just yet. But that Still did damage. move Sandstorm screen. into orange. I mean, oh, sorry, red. Wrench staying very low, trying to avoid the ground pound. The oh! That will do Sandstorm it! Sandstorm just did it! Three. Sandstorm! Oh! Sandstorm! Sandstorm. 
Number four, LDZ vs. Multimum BCX 2016. This set the standard for Brawlhalla Esports. This is the set I watched the most when I was going pro. A lot of people who are pro now looked up to this set in particular. At this time, LDZ was the go to Brawlhalla. He won BCX 2016, he won 2017, but that was in the future at the time. But this tournament, it was very close at the end, but it, LDZ was just in possession. He was in control the entire time. And it's just so crazy. He just looked like the GOAT. And he is a huge player. And he started what Sandstorm finished later on. You can take a look, see how emotional it was. It's, again, what I looked up to when I was going pro. You are seeing him oh. on this axe. This is going to be big for LDZ. Oh, he misses the dare as Baltimore dodges through it. Neutral no sink. sink! Sending LDZ down into the left. Weapon toss. With the weapon toss. The LDZ special. And He's that will get the sack. But Multimum is in the red. We might see LDZ do the exact same thing that Multimum has been doing, which is come back, immediately get the kill. Side air. Multimum is playing on the edge here rather confidently. That is it. But he had nowhere to go. LDZ waited it out just long enough to make sure to know exactly where Multimum was going to be in that push off column. He didn't want to do it too far to the left. He didn't want to do it too far to the right. There's LDZ. He did an on-stage ground pound like that before, and Multimum has that timing down. He can't just be letting Multimum get those free punishes like that. Those on-stage ground pounds haven't worked for him. I think it was three times now. We've seen Multimum make a huge adjustment with his guitar play, though. He's gone through a lot more downlights, going for the anti-airs on top of LDZ. He recognizes that LDZ is playing a little bit floaty, staying just above Multimum with that side signature. But Multimum, he doesn't need the side signature. He just needs to build up more damage onto LDZ so that a recovery could potentially kill. That's not going to be the one that does it. But there is still potential here as LDZ is still in the sky. Is he going to go for the recovery? Is he going to go for the side signature? Ooh. Is he going to go for the side air? LDZ putting some serious damage out. Multimum starting to creep over into the orange. Falling in airs, more damage being built up from Multimum at this point. He's got to be thinking about just any old move might kill. A side air from the soft platform could be enough, but he's got to be careful because LDZ just got the gravity cancel. Side tick, does Multimum have the jumps? He's got the recovery. Oh, That's it. LDZ. LDZ has done it. LDZ is the grand finalist winner. He has taken down Multimum. Now we got top three, and this is my order of top three, but you can pick any order you want. At number three, this this set was the craziest set of all time, in my opinion. Just craziest set of all time. Boomy and Remy versus Addy Mestedic and Cake at BCX 2017. This was the grand finals at BCX, and it also went to 10 games. Boomy and Remy had to reset the bracket, and it was so emotional because it was last stock red to restock, reset the bracket, and it was crazy like one hit could have just changed the future forever if boomy and remy didn't win bcx 2017 you never know where these guys would be today um adi mestic and cake went on to win bcx 2018 so i'm very proud of them but yeah in 2017 these boomy and remy just took it to another level and you can you can see their reactions Follow up so from slick that so turn side clean sick. eu is starting to struggle here that has to just be a dismal landscape oh. for him to look at. And we've seen those not kill. Kate gets the recovery. Boomy left in the 1v2, but he's just putting damage out. Great look follow at this up combo from the red team. Patience. Neutral light comes out from Addy, and they are going to hold on. One game for the EU team, but they have to win the next two in a row. Boomy tried to help out Remy. You saw how deep he was going, and here comes the follow up. Neutral life. Look at neutral it. Air Look at into it. a neutral sink. Neutral buttons for days. Follow up again. Oh, into the oh, recovery. Oh, oh. oh. Addy Mestig and Cake oh. taking that with three stocks. Addy is staring at a man oh. to climb. He comes in up. with the recovery. I don't see Grab how power. Addy can clutch this. It's going to be power. so difficult. And Boomy and Remy have done it. They are your 2v2 champions. NA will win it out. But EU, I mean, props to Addy and Cake. At number two, we got Boomy vs. Sandstorm BCX 2018. This set was the craziest and most memorable one set ever. 
It went to game five. This was Sandstorm's first LAN. Boomy's never won a BCX 1v1. And the emotion between everyone. Boomy just came after beating LDZ. LDZ, by the way, just some context. This guy won BCX 2016, 2017. And then in 2018, he played Boomy and Boomy won. And then Boomy only had Sandstorm in the way to get into Grand Finals winner's side. And Sandstorm took it to him last second. But in the middle of the set, Boomy three stock Sandstorm to bring it to a game five. And this dude was shaking. Take a look. Two stocks up. Downloading Sandstorm. This is kind of the same thing that happened to Lil Capped against LDZ, but just a little bit more quickly yeah. with LDZ as it only took one loss for LDZ to turn it around and find the edge. Sandstorm needs to finish this stock off of Boomy. Can't get the dare. Boomy! Is that three stock? Are you freaking kidding me? Boomy has three stock Look Sandstorm! He is fired up! Look at Boomy right now! He is I've so never seen serious. him look like that before. That is raw intensity. That's so intense right now. As you can see, like one of the craziest sets ever, and it's just so memorable how it took place and what happened. But at number one, this is the most memorable Brawlhalla esports moment. I think I'm a little biased here because I am a pro, but it's something that's just gonna be in the books forever. We have BCX 2019. Cody Travis flipping off Ethan. <laughs> it's not even like the craziest set. Like the last set was better, but just how memorable. Just Cody Travis like, mm. <laughs> it's great. I, and then Cody said sorry right after. He's not a dick. He's just emotions got to him at that moment, and that's okay. But it it was a crazy moment, and uh, it, it's the most memorable. Brahalla Esports land moment ever, in my opinion. Oh, the stage but, uh, man that weapon tossed in and far. Uh -oh. oh, there uh -oh. it is. Cody Travis takes it 3 0 again. Oh, snap. Ethan. Cody Travis. Is he denying it? Cut throat. Says, get out of here. This is my house. Is he denying? I think he did. Ethan takes that as a denial of the handshake. Ethan went for it, but Cody Travis in my is opinion. like, nah. But um, don't take my word for it. Ask, uh, let me know down below in the comments what you think. This list could be put in multiple different orders. This is just my opinion. But I hope that stuff on this list is stuff you agree with. Hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Turn the notification bell on. Check out GravityCancel, Cosmolux.com. Okay, I'm done promoting. See you guys Monday.